Okay, so another quick thing to look for is uh, if you don't eat all your veggies, uh, but you buy in bulk, um, you know, some of this stuff can be pickled or still used, it's still good. But you'll notice that it's actually, some of it's actually starting to sprout. So this is a bulb and this is a uh, onion. So in another video, I was just showing some grown onions, but onions are sort of layered. So inside the layer will be like a onion layer. Now this itself, you don't need to plant the entire bulb for it to grow but you can just plant uh, the top. Now, one of the reasons why I'm hiding this is I don't know if these are uh, GMO or not, but obviously I'm not reselling this stuff at all. Um, and I don't know the seed source, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, if you're growing in large amount or reselling, you don't wanna use something. But it doesn't actually say anything about the source of the seeds, so I don't have any knowledge of what's going on with this. Um, but this is an example just because I saw it was already sprouting here. So these bulbs, like uh, these two that are already going, um, I might let them grow a bit longer and then peel them back, cut them back, plant just this uh, stalk, like uh, the part that's grown, it will probably be up to here by then and uh, go with it. Now the thing about onions is a lot of them will have all the roots cut off them but uh, what I've found is that even if you have it since it's like a bulb it will still grow um, and then hopefully that will be good. So this will be another experiment along with uh, some of the beans. Uh, we'll see if uh, both of these can grow from the plant. Obviously if there are food shortages you are going to want to know how to get food um, and if there are fertilizer or seed shortages, like all the commercial seeds, you have big bulk farms and then you have, uh, you know, little gardening seeds and stuff like that. So a lot of the seeds that will be available are actually plants that are foods that are seed. So bulbs, beans, uh, you buy lentils, all that stuff will sprout fairly easily. Potatoes rather than being processed foods. So it's all these whole foods um, that are going to provide you with second generation in case of shortages. The only way you're going to be able to get food if it's not on the shelves is to actually produce it yourself. And I don't really expect this year to be that bad, but I am thinking that if things progress next year could be quite bad. Um, this winter, not, not, that we're in now but next winter um, could be fairly bad if uh, we're entering into a global uh, food and uh, potentially conflict and this only exasperates the weather and water shortage issues so it's not i don't think it's that bad right now even though people might be starting to freak in the mainstream now um, but this isn't out of nowhere it's something that has been developing in you know, some may say it's getting a little bit better, some may say it's getting a little bit worse, but uh, it's definitely crunch time. And to be honest, if you have land, you can uh, sort of hold your own with that, right? Um, but if you don't have land, then you kind of need to get potting soil and pots and uh, growing methods. Uh, I don't expect for water to stop running in uh, areas that have access to um, lakes and rivers. So other than water, kind of need soil and maybe nutrient. The uh, thing about farms is a lot of the nutrient is stripped out of the soils. So they put a lot of new nutrient in, but for uh, gardens and what, well, not gardens, but uh, yards or lawns um, that have sod over them, a lot of that nutrient is still in the soil. Uh, it may be contaminated in some areas, but where it's not, um, you know, you'll get a good year or two or few out of that soil um, without doing intensive agriculture. Uh, so, you know, to carry over for a year or two, you can probably do okay with the soil you have in your yard. Now, if you're in an apartment or something like that, you're, you don't have many options, but, um, Definitely you want to make use with what you have and indoor growing if you have lots of light um, will extend your growing season a bit but uh, just know what plants you're planting and how much soil they need because uh, that will depend on how much room you have because you're going to need pots of a certain size or containers of a certain size 
And for stuff like this, you know, I'm getting, if this starts eating up soil and water, I'll start converting that soil and water and air into food. And that's basically free food.